Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne and today we are going to do a quick get ready with me using the Venice Fling Bailey Saran Estate um, palette and I think I will use I think I'm going to use this Pure Less here with the Yenza Concealer and Let's see here. Let's do the vitamin C glow. I really actually like this glow. So it looks like it's going to storm here. So I kind of want to make this quick. And I also have like two videos to do after this. So I do have another <clears throat> couple videos I do have to put up. So, okay. So I had my water here. And now it's all wet. Okay. So. I'm just about to go straight to the palette, and I'm like, wait a second. I did forget to put on my under eye concealer stuff. Ugh. Alright, so, I really like this. BB cream, I find that uh, it's very nice and it's light, especially for hot days when you just want something to be on your skin, but not and something to clog it up and make you feel heavy. And I found that since... I have been using a regular skincare, and even though my skincare routine kind of can vary a little bit, like when I finish a product, I product I just kind of go on to another product. So right now I'm using this serum, uh, like the bottle that we got in Glossy Box at one time. Um, I'm using that, and then the moisturizer to go with it. And then at night I'm actually using that propolactis that we got in Boxy Charm at night and I'm finding that since I've been doing that actually I really like just the look of my skin I'm not afraid to go out with it so I'm really really happy with it so I'm not going to worry too much about doing um, the actually I probably will put this on but I am going to use my new brushes that I got and I'm just trying to think of what I got in my Ipsy. What else I can use. Okay. So we'll use the highlighter. I don't know if you guys, does it look weird? Oh, it probably does. Okay, so I did try the Regio um, hair care and it works really great for my hair. And I actually put it in my daughter's hair last night and it looked so good. Okay, so, um, I was just at a friend's place and she's got a little girl about the same age as my little girl so we were having a play date and it was really great and awesome and whatnot and for some reason I just twisted the wrong way and now it hurts. Yeah. Okay. Aw oh, man! Oops. Okay, so I got those two. Okay. So, let's use my motor brush here. And I will put on the Morphe primer in just a minute. So I am going to take, I think I'm going to take this color here, the sole. And give it... Okay, so... Get and start from the outside, work in. So. Uh, I have to go to work tomorrow, so hopefully this kind of sorts itself out. I'll probably have a hot shower tonight and 
see if that'll help. Okay, so this is a really nice, and it's called Tan Lines, which is actually perfect because I really like this color here. And I am going to go in with my All Over Shadow. I'm going to take this Bonnie. Nope, this is Bonfire, sorry. Okay. So I'm just going to go from the inside here and bring it out. So it's just right there in the crease. Grab some more. Not a whole lot. So this is the bonfire color. So for some reason this feels a little lower than That is a super, super pretty color. So I am going to go put on my Morphe. All over primer. And just put it on here. We were supposed to get a storm a couple days ago. And I didn't. Didn't even come close to being a storm. And that might have been even yesterday. Today it looks like it's going to storm. You gonna lay down on your pillow? Uh -huh. Okay. So as you guys notice, I'm starting just to pat this in because then it sits on the skin more evenly when I do that, and rather than just kind of brushing it in and hard. So I find that it doesn't crease as much. And you probably notice that I don't pull up my eyes anymore either. Um, I was watching a video or watching something and it says that when you do pull it like that, you're actually changing the shape of your eye. Makes sense, right? I did not go to school for any of this. This is all just, you know, self-taught, self, you know, trying to have fun myself. So I got a pigment packer here and I think I'm actually going to start with um, Ocean Ave here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to roller skates, and then I'm tr going to try to, I think I'll use the Venice fling as um, an eyeliner. So i got a little bit on my brush here. So I'm not going to tap this off, because I'm going to just pat this on my eye. gives it more of a oh, pigment look doesn't settle into the fine lines okay, so I'm just going to take my little brush here okay so do the same for the other eye I think these colors would look perfect on a darker skin color because right now like they're just ever so light on my eyes which isn't an issue I just think they look more like pop to them okay so I am going to use not this one this one's a blending brush so I am going to grab huh, there we go. nope that's not the brush I thought it was Definitely not the brush I thought it was. Whoops. Okay. So I am going to go in with this roller skate right here. Again, trying not to... So I'm going right into the crease there and I'm just patting in. I 
I had enough on this one. For some reason I'm getting it right in the corner crease with this one and I'm just not liking that. Set up to the crease, not in the crease. And then I'm pulling my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a different brush because I don't like that brush. That brush is not working the way I want it to. Okay, so I'm going to grab more with my Sigma brush and I bet you I get the payoff that I want. So this is one of those eyeshadows that when I kind of close my eyes, it's getting into my crease. Um, it's not that bad, so, but it is there. Okay, where did I, I'm going to take this guy, actually. So I am going to take, where is it, where is it here now, I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm going to dip it into this Venice fling and I am going to go To the bottom, and now we'll do the top. Okay. So I'm going to take this blending brush, and I think I'm going to take some of this rose tattoo, and I'm just going to. Interesting thing is that a bit of this purple has blended like I just want to do it here because it actually looks really good. So it's kind of blended into here. So I'm gonna use my Tom Ford one.
little benefit one that I, excuse me, a little missy. You are such a silly girl. Okay, so these are a little benefit. <laughs> that is kind of neat, eh? All right, so we will. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have done that, babies. Can you get it? No, no, you leave that alone. That's not a toy. So I, I'm going to use my tart uh, for my blush. And I think this is quirky. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's coming off. Yeah, there it is. Okay. It was. Okay. So wait, I'm going to use this highlighter that I got. I've already tried this highlighter, but I'm going to use it again. So, let's see here. So I do have the Huda Beauty lip liner, so I will give that a go right now. No. Careful, babies. So that is in Trophy Wife, which I do have the lipstick for, but I never wear it. So I did try one, and this is the Trophy Wife. So that's the one I have worn. So I did try Bonnie, so I'm gonna try Lady Boss today. So these are demi mattes. So I obviously thought they were gonna dry down. Yeah, Mama will get them in a minute, honey. How? You can... Yeah, I'll get them in a minute. She's dropped off my... Sponges down there. So, this is a really, really pretty... Lipstick. I just think I need a little more practice with it. Uh, this one is definitely drying down, which is great because I do like the liquid um, lipstick over the other ones because I find that they just wear off too fast and uh, it just doesn't look right on me when my lipstick wears off because I have two colors of lips. Um, oh, it feels like it. And then I'd have to do that. Can I see? Did you drop the one that I want? Yeah, probably. Okay. 
Anyway. I think you just need to leave it because it was fine just the way it is. Can I see that one, please? Anyway. So that is with using the... Um, do I have that the right way this time? No. Nope. There we go. Um, my thoughts on it are that it is a really, really pretty palette. Not um, exactly um, exciting colors, but they are very pretty. They do blend pretty easy. They are staying now. Um, I like I like it enough. I'm glad I bought it. It was like I think twelve dollars a US, so we went fourteen fifty. Now you know you can only get this palette through it through the through the Ipsy subscription, so it's not going to be out in stores or anything. So I'm really glad I did grab it. I'm glad I used it. As will I keep it? I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's nine pans. They do like I love the names of them. They're really nice names. Um, but I will probably give this another play, as in. Um, the puppy love is one I would definitely like to try in the soul. So like the puppy love and the soul. Sorry, over here. I give those a try. Um, I do definitely like this highlighter. I have to say this Ipsy highlighter that they picked for me is one of the best things that they have picked for me. Is, you can definitely see it there. And it'll be one I'll be reaching for quite often. And I love the Huda, Huda lipsticks. I really like this color. It really, I think, suits me. Um... So it's definitely glad one I, I picked up. Mind you, it wasn't much of a steal because it was $12. And these are like, I think, $26 Canadian. So I mean, it did save a few bucks, but not a whole lot. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And please don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.